Hello? What have you been up to? Hope you all are well. Now, we start our new lesson today. Unit 7B, Success. Vocabulary about ambitions. What is an ambition? An ambition is what you want, you really want to get in life. Uh, we can have a synonym, goal. Now, exercise one. You must think, what do you want in life? List them in order of importance from one to ten. Give reasons. Compare with a partner, then make sentences using the phrases. Now look, here you have something here. Be rich, get a degree, have a big family, have a successful career in law, in medicine, in tourism, etc. Travel around the world, own a fast car or a big house. Live overseas, become famous, become a singer, an actor, etc. Start my own business, win awards, a Nobel Prize, an Oscar, a Pulitzer Prize for saving the environment, etc. You can say, I want to have a success career in medicine. Alright, how about you? You choose the things here and put them in the order of importance yeah it's up to you that means each of you have different order of importance A's for me none of the things here is my importance yeah my importance is only my health I want good health all right yeah so exercise two reading what do you know about the people in the pictures what did they do before they became famous listen read and say yeah look at this uh, do you know her if you don't read the passage do you know her do you know him? Uh, maybe I think you know him because he's very handsome and he's very famous in some great films. Yeah. All right. So now, uh, exercise two now. Listen. Life's surprises. Everyone has their dreams and ambitions, but you never know where life will really take you. Here are the amazing stories of two rich and famous people who start in life had little in common with their life today. Could a disorganized secretary ever picture herself becoming a billionaire one day? Probably not, but that's exactly what happened to J.K. Rowling, author of the world famous Harry Potter books. As a child, she wanted to become a ballerina, but she wasn't graceful enough. After high school, she went on to study French at the University of Exeter. When she graduated, she got a job as a secretary. There was just one problem, though. She just wasn't organized enough. And in any case, her imagination was far too wild for dull paperwork. Eventually, it was her imagination that worked miracles for her. On a train trip from Manchester to London, she thought up a story about a young boy who goes to a wizardry school. The main character, Harry Potter, 
even had the same thick glasses that she wore at school. J.K. Rowling became rich and famous overnight with fans all over the world. As she writes in one of her books, it matters not what someone is born, but what they grow to be. When Brad Pitt got into Missouri University's School of Journalism, he had no idea that some years later, he would become one of the most popular American actors ever. So just how did this happen? Well, young Brad soon found that he just wasn't interested enough in journalism, so he dropped out in his senior year. He then drove to LA where he had many different jobs, such as a refrigerator delivery boy and a limousine driver before he got his first acting job. After playing a number of small parts, his career finally took off when he got the part of a hitchhiker in the movie Thelma and Louise. Today he's a very successful actor. He travels all over the world and he is also famous for his charity work in third world countries. Now here, you need to understand the passage. Please pause the video, open the book, read once again. Of course, there are some new works in the books. You try to find the meanings, you try to understand the meanings. Uh, but I will explain to you through the lesson today, through our video. So, no problem, yeah. So, what do you know about the people, the pictures? What did they do before they became famous? Think for a minute and try to make out the answers in your mind. And then you, I will show you the answer. Listen first. J.K. Rowling was a secretary. Brad Pitt was a refrigerator delivery boy and a limousine driver. All right, look. If your thought is like in the video here, J.K. Rowling was a secretary, and Brad Pitt was a refrigerator delivery boy and a limousine driver. All right. Next. Unit three. Yeah. You need to read the passage once again so that you can understand thoroughly. Then choose the and then answer the correct. Give the correct answer here. Yeah. <clears throat> First, we move on. Can you say two more things you remember about each person? Now, watch the video. Life's surprises. Everyone has their dreams and ambitions, but you never know where life will take you. Here are two stories of two rich and famous people. Their start in life has little in common with their life today. Could a disorganized secretary ever picture becoming a billionaire one day? Probably not. But that's what happened to J.K. Rowling. She is the author of the world-famous Harry Potter books. As a child, she wanted to become a ballerina, but she wasn't graceful enough. After leaving university, she got a job as a secretary. There was just one problem. She wasn't organized enough. In any case, her imagination was too much for dull paperwork. On a train journey, she came up with a story about a young boy who goes to a school for wizardry. Eventually, Rowling wrote the first Harry Potter book. It took many attempts, but with enough effort, it was published in 1997, when Rowling was 32 years old. When Brad Pitt got a place at Missouri University, he had no idea that some years later, he would become one of the most popular American actors ever. So, just how did this happen? Well, Pitt never finished university and left in his final year. He wasn't interested enough in journalism. He drove to LA, where he had many different jobs. He worked as a delivery man and a driver before his first acting job. After playing small parts, his career took off. 
when he played the part of a hitchhiker in Thelma and Louise. Today, he is a very successful actor. He travels all over the world and is also famous for his charity work. Remember that the way your career turns out could be very different from what you first thought. Think about what J.K. Rowling wrote in one of her books. It matters not what someone is born, but what they grow to be. <laughs> All right, now I think you understand more about the passage. So, we do some questions. Read the six sentences and choose the most correct answer for each of them. You can do in just a few minutes. And then I will supply the correct answer for you. Yeah, you can pause the video. And now, let's check the answer. Have you done well? Look on the answer. Move on with think. It's very interesting, I think. Which of these two famous people do you admire the most and why? Think for a minute. And now you can have the answer in your mind. First, I want you to listen. I think J.K. Rowling's story is moving. Despite the problems she had in her life, she never gave up and kept on trying. In the end, she managed to make her dream come true. And today she's famous all over the world. This shows us that it's important to follow our dreams and not to lose hope even when things go wrong. Can you listen well? Right, if not, have a look at the answer. I think J.K. Rowling's story is moving. Despite the problems she had in her life, she never gave up and keep on trying. In the end, she managed to make her dream come true. And today, she is famous all over the world. This shows us that it's important to follow our dreams not to lose hope even when things go wrong all right very interesting and very meaningful with this sentence yeah i read it again this shows us that it's important to follow our dreams and not to lose hope even when things go wrong do you agree yes all right so now say two more things you remember about each person can you listen? J.K. Rowling studied French at the University of Exeter and wore thick glasses when she was in school. There are a lot of things about each member, each person here, all right? But you just know two things about her and him. Maybe your answer is different, yeah. J.K. Rowling studied French at the University of Zeta and wore thick glasses when she was in school. How about Brad Pitt? Brad Pitt studied journalism at Missouri University's School of Journalism and played the part of a hitchhiker in the movie Thelma and Louise. Brad Pitt studied journalism at Missouri University School of Journalism and played the part of a hitchhiker in the movie Thelma and Louise. All right. So now you have the answer for the four questions here. Now let's check your answer. Did you do well? I hope you did it well. 
Now, go on. Exercise 4. You will match the underlying words or phrases to their synonyms. Very easy, I think. Because they are on the own words or the own phrases. Yeah. So now, let's check the answer. Wonders means miracles. The same, it is in common. Imagine, imagine here is a verb and picture here is a verb too. To imagine, to picture, to think something in your mind. Free, wine, left, drop down. That means uh, we cut, we stop doing something. We left. Created, thought up became successful to cough all right now we will explain the words in bone you can look at the passage again and try to get the meanings of the bone works before we uh, before I give you the explanation in this video now look at the definition uh, you can pause the video to watch on the definitions for the word or the phrase After reading on the definitions, you can move on. are a lot of definitions you have to know all right uh, all of them are very useful all right uh, you try to mimic the way they give the definition yeah two and enough for them uh, look two plus a stay verb and after that we use a full infinity that means a verb with to to comes before an st on a verb in a sentence it is uh, it has a negative meaning and shows that there is a greater amount of degree uh, or degree or something than what is needed example the sea is too cold to swim in ở đây chúng ta phải hiểu cấu trúc tu tu có nghĩa là quá không thể tiếng Anh với tiếng Việt nó có những cái nó khác biệt với nhau nhiều lắm cho nên chúng ta phải hiểu thì chúng ta mới làm bài tốt được mới học tốt được biển quá lạnh không thể bơi ở trong đó được I can't swim in it Ricky is too young to ride 
Ricky is only 15, he isn't allowed to ride, he's too young. Ricky quá nhỏ không thể lái xe được. And we have STF verb with enough and enough with now. That means enough here is an adverb and enough here is an ST. Enough có hai loại từ, enough ở đây là trạng từ, enough đứng trước nào thì enough là sinh tính từ. Sau hai cấu trúc này chúng ta đều dùng two verb hết, full infinity. Enough comes after an ST or adverb but before now it has a positive meaning and shows that there is a much of something as is wanted or needed. Giám bảo the cheetah is fast enough to catch a zebra. Còn báo nhanh đủ để bắt được một con ngựa vằn. It can catch it. She is fast enough to finish the race first. She can finish the race first. Positive meaning. She is đủ nhanh để hoàn thành cuộc đua sớm nhất, đầu tiên nhất. We have no money to redecorate the house. We can redecorate the house. Yeah, chúng ta có đủ tiền để trang trí lại ngôi nhà. A study examples: The boy is tall enough to play basketball. He can play basketball. Positive meaning. He isn't tall enough to reach the top shelf. He can't reach the top shelf. Negative meaning. He is too short to reach the top shelf. He can't reach the top shelf. Negative meaning. All right. Như vậy là tùy trường hợp chúng ta có thể dùng enough hoặc là to cho cả nghĩa phủ định à, nghĩa tích cực hoặc tiêu cực nha thì enough có thể dùng nghĩa tích cực có thể dùng nghĩa tiêu cực còn to thì đều là nghĩa tiêu cực hết không đủ right. nha Được. today the sea is windy enough for Andrew to surf Yeah, he can surf. No swimming by recommendation of county health department. The Smiths are going to have picnic by the lake. Unfortunately, the water is too dirty for them to swim. They can't swim. It is a negative meaning. Fiona has invited her friends to dinner tonight. She has cooked enough food for everyone. Enough is an ST before the now food. All right. Now, complete the sentences with do or enough. All right. Uh, of course, you must understand what each sentence means so that you can choose correctly to or enough. Let's check the answer. Too busy to talk to you now. Negative meaning. To pass it for me, I can't afford it. Negative meaning. You don't own enough to drive a car. Negative meaning. He doesn't have enough qualification for the job. Negative meaning. Why don't you get a degree? It isn't too late. It isn't too late. Positive meaning, yeah, positive meaning here. I don't think I could work as a war photographer. I'm not brave enough. Negative meaning. Tag questions. Read the examples. How do we form tag questions in English? Are there similar structure in your language? Do you think? There are similar structure in our language, in our Vietnamese. Do you think so? I don't think so. Yeah. All right. Now, take question. Read it. Take questions are short questions at the end of statements. Remember statements. They are mainly used in speech when we want to confirm something or when we want to find out if something is true or not. Yeah, when we use tech question, remember this. If not, we use yes-no question. 
yeah, not tech question. Tech questions are formed with an auxiliary verb and the appropriate subject pronoun. They take the same auxiliary as in the statement or if there is an, an auxiliary in statement. They take do they simple reason on this simple pass. Example, Dan doesn't like cash, does he? After affirmative statements, we use a negative interrupted tag, and after negative statements, we use a positive interrupted tag. Example, she plays in the team, doesn't she? He didn't win the race, did he? Alright. Ah, go hỏi đuôi. Go hỏi đuôi. Khi chúng ta dùng go hỏi đuôi là chúng ta muốn khẳng định là một điều gì đó hoặc là chúng ta muốn tìm hiểu điều đó có đúng hay không thì chúng ta dùng câu hỏi đuôi còn không chúng ta dùng câu hỏi yes no bình thường câu hỏi đuôi được thành lập dựa vào một động từ khiếm khuyết nhớ nhà động từ khiếm khuyết động từ thường là không dùng được và luôn luôn là một subject rồi nào có nghĩa là chúng ta phải dùng các cái đại từ chủ từ I hay she it will you they chứ không được dùng danh từ riêng tên riêng không được dùng thì chúng ta lưu ý động từ thường thì chúng ta sử dụng trợ động từ do does cho thì hiện tại đơn và trợ động từ did cho thì quá khứ còn những động từ auxiliary phát khác động từ thuyết khác thí dụ như can will may must gì đó là chúng ta sử dụng lại thôi rồi nguyên tắc là nếu câu trần thực khẳng định thì câu hỏi đuôi sẽ phủ định và ngược lại nếu câu trần thực phủ định thì câu hỏi đuôi sẽ khẳng định thí dụ đây she plays khẳng định nè in the team does she Cô ta chơi trong đội tuyển phải không? Hiện tại đơn khẳng định phải phải mượn trợ động từ doesn't. He didn't win the race, did he? Anh ta không biết không có thắng cuộc thua cuộc đua phải không? Nha. Yeah. Didn't ở đây phủ định thì có đôi phải khẳng định. Có một vài ngoại lệ lưu ý. Let's có hồi đôi luôn luôn sao quy Let me let him Có hồi đôi luôn luôn là will you hoặc là won't you Rồi mấy cái trường hợp này bình thường ha Có hỏi đôi động từ thường Trả động từ bình thường Rồi This that thì thế bằng chủ từ là it chứ không phải là isn't this không phải là isn't that I am thì nhớ có thể là aren't I hoặc còn một trường hợp nữa đó là am I not ha? am I not I am right aren't I hoặc là I am right am I not câu mệnh lệnh phủ định thì có hoa đuôi luôn luôn là will you don't leave the door unlocked will you yeah đó là lý thuyết về câu hỏi đuôi nhé. Đây chỉ là lý thuyết căn bản thôi. Còn những cái lý thuyết nâng cao em nào muốn học thì chúng ta sưu tầm trên mấy cái website của các cái của các cái trường tiếng Anh đó có rất, nó có rất nhiều chúng ta cố gắng học, học thêm lên nếu mà muốn. Như vậy đây chúng ta thấy có động từ đặc biệt là was thì câu hỏi đuôi sẽ sử dụng lại là was khẳng định thì có đuôi sẽ phải là phủ định the movie một danh từ thì phải lấy đại từ để thay thế cho nó chứ không được lấy the movie làm chủ từ do đó lấy là it wasn't it you won't be late có phủ định thì quá dễ có phủ định thì chúng ta chỉ việc bỏ nó đi quay trở lại khẳng định của nó won't bỏ nó đi là will mood quá khứ trọng từ phải là quá khứ là did khẳng định thì đang phủ định did she yeah. Look. Right. Listen to this. We haven't been on a holiday for a long time, have we? Haven't have, huh? haven't have. We haven't have we. All right. It's great that we are going away for the weekend with the kids, isn't it? This is is isn't, isn't it? The kids will also enjoy the sea and the sun, won't they? The kids well, the kids well, won't will won't. The kids, they won't they? You packed everybody's swimming suit, didn't you? Packed, passed, didn't, didn't you? 
The children are a bit quiet, aren't they? The children are, aren't. The children, plural, they, aren't they? Oh no! We packed everything else except for our kids! Alright. Now, exercise 8. Reflexy pronouns. Look. Reflexy pronouns. Đại từ phản thân. I myself, you yourself, he himself, she herself, it itself, we ourselves, you yourselves, they themselves. Tất cả các đại từ phản thân. How to use them? Sử dụng chúng nó như thế nào? You reflexive pronouns with verbs such as behave, burn, cut, enjoy, hurt, introduce, cue, look, tap, teach are with prepositions when the subject and the object of the verbs are the same person. Chúng ta sử dụng với những động từ như là behave, burn, vân vân hoặc là với những giới từ khi mà chủ từ và cái túc từ của động từ là cùng một người. Ví dụ, tôi là chủ từ này. Burn myself, object cũng là tôi này. Tôi tự làm mình phỏng When I touch the iron Tôi tự mình làm phỏng khi tôi Sờ vào cái bàn ủi Nếu chúng ta làm Hành động tác động lên người khác Thì chúng ta không dùng đại từ phản thân Mà cái chủ từ đó tác động lên chính Bản thân họ Thì phải dùng đại từ phản thân đó. Nó gọi đại từ phản thân là như vậy đó With the preparation by When we mean alone Chúng ta dùng với Với từ by khi chúng ta Ám chỉ đó là một mình With the company or with the help Một mình không có à, Người nào khác nữa Không có đồng bọn á Hoặc là không có sự giúp đỡ của ai khác She spent her weekend by herself or on her own Cô ta đi nghỉ cuối tuần một mình In the following expressions Enjoy yourself That means have a good time Behave yourself That means you must be good Or help yourself You are welcome to take something if you want That means uh, Tự nhiên Help yourself to some food Bạn cứ tự nhiên Ăn nhé Bạn cứ tự nhiên ăn nhé To emphasize the subject or the object of a sentence Dùng để phương tướng phân Còn để mà Nhấn mạnh cái chủ từ hoặc là túc từ của một cái câu Ví dụ I wrote this essay myself Chính tôi tôi viết ra cái bài luận này I wrote this essay Nobody else wrote it Bob met Hillary Swank herself. Bob chỉ gặp Hillary Swank thôi, không gặp ai khác. Note 1. We do not normally use reflexive pronouns with the verbs concentrate, feel, meet, and relax. Example, you need to relax, not you need to relax yourself. Reflexive pronouns are used with the verbs rest, wash, and save when we want to show that someone did something with a lot of effort. Although she only three years old, she manages to rest herself. À, trong trường hợp này chúng ta sử dụng đại từ phản thân để nhấn mạnh khi mà gặp những động từ mặc, giặt hoặc là cạo râu này nọ là có nghĩa là người đó tự mình nỗ lực mình làm thì dùng đại từ phản thân nha. nha. Alright. Rồi à, chúng ta hiểu qua đại từ phản thân rồi. Ngay bây giờ chúng ta sẽ đặt những đại từ phản thân này vào trong các cái câu cho nó phù hợp. I think it's easy for you. Nhá. Yeah. Now check the answer. Listen. Does your parrot talk? Yes, I trained it myself to talk. If you pull the yellow string, it speaks Spanish. And if you pull the blue string, it speaks English. See for yourself. Buenos dias. Wow, it speaks Spanish. So what happens if I pull both strings? I pull off my swing, silly. <laughs> Very interesting. All right, now the last part of the lesson today. Let's try it. Now listen and then try to decide 
each sentence whether each of them is true or false listen I wouldn't like to have an office job or start my own business or anything like that. Actually, I really hope to become a professional soccer player. Everyone says it's too difficult, but I want to give it a try. Of course, I will finish school and go to college and get a degree first. Then I'll have an education to fall back on if I don't manage to achieve my goal. At the moment, I play for my school and my local team. My school coach says I'm good enough to get into the regional team. Then I'll get to travel around the country and play against other teams in national championships. I will miss my family, but that's okay. After a few years, I might be able to move on to playing for a professional team if I do well. Imagine if I get to play in the Premiership and the Champions League. And I'd love to play from a country. If that happens, it will be my dream come true. I will be rich and famous and have a fast car and a big house. That would be awesome. If you couldn't hear well, pause the video uh, and push it back some minutes. Oh, uh, not not some minutes. All right, and then listen again. Yeah, before you can see the tape script. Yeah, do it before you see the tape script. Listen. like to have an office job or start my own business or anything like that. Actually, I really hope to become a professional soccer player. Everyone says it's too difficult, but I want to give it a try. Of course, I will finish school and go to college and get a degree first. Then I'll have an education to fall back on if I don't manage to achieve my goal. At the moment, I play for my school and my local team. My school coach says I'm good enough to get into the regional team. Then I'll get to travel around the country and play against other teams in national championships. I will miss my family, but that's okay. After a few years, I might be able to move on to playing for a professional team if I do well. Imagine if I get to play in the Premiership and the Champions League. And I'd love to play from a country. If that happens, it will be my dream come true. I will be rich and famous and have a fast car and a big house. That would be awesome. Now, are you ready to be the correct answer? Now? Yeah, I think you can. Look. Number one, forms. Number two, true. Number three, true. Number four, true. And number five, forms. Right. You can listen once again. Right. Try to listen uh, carefully and try to understand. Yeah. Uh, to check whether they add the right answers yes all right so the lesson today is uh, over all right we finish our lesson today at home you try to if you don't understand try to watch this video clip once again or more yeah and then you take your workbook and do workbook 7b yeah when we meet at school we will correct the workbook. Right. Goodbye for now.